Well, good morning. It's Monday and welcome to our daily prayers. I forget if I've mentioned it before, but I spent a few days going to see my father in Guernsey. And it's been a long, long time, not far off two years since I was able to go over. So it was lovely for me to see him. Um, I met a chap on the plane who hadn't seen his daughters who were um, in England and he was coming from Guernsey for two years and he was nearly in tears as he was telling me about it. It's just lovely the way families are starting to be brought back together. But obviously there's a world situation of COVID. Let's pray for those families who can't yet see each other. Let's begin our prayers today. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. We're going to start a new section now. Um, we've been doing quite a bit on the Old Testament, um, big series in Genesis, which we'll pick up again at some point. But I thought it'd be nice to do something from the New Testament. So we're going to have a look at Luke's Gospel. And we're not going to look at the first few chapters, which talk about the birth, the classic Christmas readings, or the temptation in wilderness, which often comes at Lent. But we're going to pick it up halfway through chapter four as Jesus begins his ministry and what we can learn from all that he does and says in those chapters. So today we are Luke four at verse 14. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the spirit and news about him spread through the whole countryside. He was teaching in their synagogues and everyone praised him. One of the things we'll be doing is looking at some of the themes that Luke particularly draws out, perhaps more than the other gospel writers, uh, Mark, Matthew and John. And one of Luke's big things is the work of the Holy Spirit. And here he mentions it in the power of the Spirit. And this Spirit of God, which hovers all over the earth, we learn in Genesis, now comes to a particular place in a particular person. The person, of course, is Jesus, but he comes to a one particular place and news about him spreads. And of course, God is concerned with particular places. He is concerned for your neighbourhood, for the people that you meet, and how you, with the help of his Holy Spirit, can be a blessing to them. So maybe that's a great thing to pray for as we begin, that God's Spirit in you will be able to influence in a good way and become a blessing to all those that you meet and our local community. A space as we have the chance to pray for that for ourselves now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. And we pray to this Father who sends his Holy Spirit. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the 
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen.